good evening book lovers of the internet welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber i get a new subscriber and they also read a page from a book of my choice so in today's video i am going to be reviewing the second short story in this roald Dahl anthology called madness it has about 30 pages it is called katina and it is set in the world war and i rate this one two out of five stars so I am quite certain that this one is autobiographical. In fact, I know that uh, Roald Dahl spent a long time working for and with the Royal Air Force. And um, it is both infuriating and depressing. And I'd say that it is more about grief and anger rather than madness per se. And um, madness is more of a consequence of the two former emotions that in this case is not quite dealt to, at least not as much as I was hoping for, especially when I bought the book, because I wanted absolute mental derangement in the stories Roald Dahl uh, wrote down when I bought a book of short stories entitled Madness. So um, cruelty and PTSD are quite prominent themes in this one as well. And um, Dahl, or the persona rather, here recounts how the Germans destroyed so many Greek machines and aircraft and killed so many people as well. Uh, the narrator lost a lot of friends in... Um, during the, the battle against the Germans, and it is all quite saddening, quite infuriating, and um, it tends to be quite confusing as to why it is correlated with madness over here, though I suppose that is what war does to anybody fighting in it, though luckily um, I do not have any experience of that, so um, Katina certainly deserved better, um, and Although she is not the main focus of this short story, I understand why Dahl would want the short story to be called Katina, because when children die as a consequence of war, it is absolutely horrible, in my opinion, and I'm sure many people would agree with this. And uh, I see why he'd call it Katina after the girl who, unfortunately and very tragically, passed away. So um, I'm sure you could have probably um, saw this happen so this seen this happen anyway so um i wouldn't consider it to be a spoiler regardless um and not a lot of time is spent is devoted to her passing away it's just it is such a sensory story and there are so many emotions um elicited from the reader that it is quite haunting regardless of it not having to do with any mental derangement and it is so saddening so depressing um, now i rated it two out of five stars because it is simply not for me and uh, not because it is badly written or because um, i was disappointed by it and um, i wanted there to be a lot of uh, mental derangement and um, this isn't as explicit as i was hoping for it to be basically so I am also not sure here whether the word madness is synonymous with the word anger because in that case it would make a lot of sense um, to compile it with this co collection but otherwise I'm not quite sure. Um, short stories about the word are just not as captivating as I once thought they were and the stories as tragic as this one I'm sure I'll be thinking about it for quite some time it is certainly not uh, forgettable it is very memorable and it does elicit a lot of emotions as i mentioned however um now you don't have to read katina basically because you know what goes on and um if you want to read it it might bring a tear to your eyes so be aware of that and it is still a beautiful story to read even if you do know um what is going to happen towards the end now so anyway that's all i had to say about roald Dahl's second short story in the collection madness uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button, leave a like, a comment, share with your friends, do anything to help out my channel. The goal is to make it to 10,000 subscribers and to eventually get a silver play button as well. So help me out as best you can. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one very, very soon. Bye, guys.